Hi, my name's Steve Vinay Gunther. I'm a Gestalt therapist and trainer. I'm from Australia. I teach Gestalt internationally, especially in Southeast Asia, China, Japan, Korea, uh, as well as Mexico and the US. And I'm delighted to be coming to South Africa for the first time for me to be teaching Gestalt. So I'll say a couple of things about myself and then I'll tell you a few things about Gestalt and then I'll say something about the workshop that we're going to be offering. Um, so I've been teaching and practicing Gestalt for 30 years now. I uh, had a Gestalt therapy training institute in Australia for 17 years. We had a four-year professional training program which uh, I founded and developed and that was my baby for a long time. Now as I say I teach internationally. Um, I'm at a phase in my life where my kids have all grown and left home and I've got a few grandkids so I'm relatively free to travel the world and I really enjoy encountering different cultures and I feel like I learn something everywhere I go as well as being able to teach so for me it's a great exchange. Gestalt, well in a nutshell um, these days we talk about Gestalt in four different dimensions. Gestalt is very much firstly and foremostly about awareness and we work with awareness. Um, you can think of Zen awareness, you can think of uh, Taoist awareness. In Western philosophical terms we use the word phenomenology to represent a whole tradition of a way of working with awareness that is less about sort of scientific objectivity and judgment and more about finding out about each person's unique experience and what that means to them. Um, we use awareness as a transformative tool in Gestalt and awareness is focused in the present though we still work with things from the past to the future but we bring them into the present. Another essential pillar of Gestalt is the therapeutic relationship, dialogue and in Gestalt we're very interested in a, a kind of a two-way relationship not just a, an expert imparting knowledge and advice and guidance but much more working with another person and revealing myself, all of who I am and my own foibles and vulnerability. Uh, so the, the emphasis in Gestalt is very much on authenticity and that authenticity goes both ways in the therapeutic relationship. In Gestalt we also work with field theory. Interestingly, um, one of the sources of that, apart from Kurt Lewin, who was one of the early uh, Gestalt psychologist who was very interested in really the daddy of uh, social psychology and, and group therapy was also Jan Schmutz, um, previous Prime Minister of South Africa who wrote a book in 1926 called Holism and Evolution which very much influenced Fritz Perls, the founder of Gestalt therapy. So um, Gestalt is very interested in a holistic approach to people and that means really looking not only at individual experience but also at the context of people's experience and the wider uh, layers of context. And finally the other element in Gestalt that we're interested in is and what Gestalt is also very much known for is the Gestalt experiment. So that's about creatively finding ways to bring the theme of the session into a kind of a dynamic experiment that's really about exploring experientially rather than just sort of thinking and talking about and precipitates new learning. So that's Gestalt. So uh, what I'm going to be presenting specifically is an approach to working with the larger issue of, of shame which is the sort of very negative experience that people have. Underpinning that is the issue of belonging and connection, which obviously as human beings we all long for, and exclusion and alienation and isolation, which is unfortunately what many of us end up experiencing and which is, can be profoundly traumatic. Th these issues operate at a, a personal and interpersonal level in relationships and marriages and intimate relationships. They operate at a family level, they operate at a social level, they operate at a, a kind of a larger, you know, national level. And we see this played out, of course, in the media all the time. And each country has its own struggles with the issue of inclusion and connection versus exclusion and alienation. So in Gestalt, we have some very interesting and unique perspectives on this and understanding of 
how to work with that. And this is one of the advances of Gestalt therapy in the 21st century and distinguishes what we call contemporary relational Gestalt from the Gestalt of the 1960s. It's also more widely understood in therapy as being something of, of importance to address. And the what's important not just in therapy, but also in a variety of other circumstances, whether it be the family or whether it be uh, business settings with you know employees and bosses, or whether it be in educational settings, is this issue of inclusion and connection versus isolation, exclusion. And um, so we're going to be exploring these themes, both from a kind of theoretical level as well as an experiential level, because what's important to me is that you really understand how to integrate this into your life, into your practice, into your professional domain, and you, you understand how this works in you, because in Gestalt, that's always the place that we start from, is, is who are you in all this, rather than starting with the models and the theories or starting from the application on other people, it always begins with me. So the teaching process in Gestalt is always opening up that question, and that's what we'll be doing. So I hope to meet you and, and work with you and, and look forward to uh, coming to South Africa in um, February... 2018.